guys, and uh, welcome to D6 Evolution. I'm Wes. I'm Andy. And today we're just going to have a little chat about um, how to get good at gaming when you're not actually playing. Yeah, how to get good at gaming quick. Good, good, good. Yeah. Real quick, yeah. Right. So, um, it's, it's, it's kind of been a, a topic I've been thinking a lot about recently, mainly because I've not been playing so much 40k. No, that's both us, really. It's yeah. been... Which is a terrible admission for people who are meant to be running a tactics channel. Yeah. I know. Unfortunately, the life bat hits you in the face now and again, and it's, uh, it's happened to both at the same time. Yeah, I know. I've got exams. I'm too old for exams, buddy. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. It's 50 next month. I know, yeah, must be. So anyway, it's, it's going to be out of the way within the month, and then I'm getting back to 40k. But it's left me with quite a lot of interesting thoughts about how to keep your skills up. But first of all, let's t let let's talk about what's coming up in the next couple of months on the on the channel. So we've got a Gene Steeler Colt video. So you've shot very recently. Yes, we may have a Gene Steeler Colt video. May may <laughs> may. Um, you yeah, know, power died. You know, shooting a video with Alex, uh, and also he, Alex Harrison. Shout out to the man wearing a green top, shooting next to a green screen. So yeah, we should have noticed that one really. Yeah, yeah. So it might be released. But superimposed somebody else's face and body on it, but we'll yeah, we'll just just, just the torso, just the torso. <laughs> Maybe like Kenny or something from South Park. That'd be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, and it would just have some little arms, which would be Alex. That'd be perfect. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully we'll have that. And I'm trying out something new with the videos. Um, anyone who's not watched these sort of how to beat videos, basically I take an army. Like last time we took Yunari, and we don't just do a review because they're they're boring. Loads of people do um, reviews. Basically, they, do, they do good reviews. Yeah, their no, reviews aren't boring. Yeah, no. Um, but for me, I think that's been done too much. What I want to do is, okay, there's an mm -hmm. army. How do you beat that? I find someone who's really good at playing the army. Yeah. Um, and basically, it's what tactics do you use to beat that army? That's yeah. what it's all about. Yeah. Um, how do you deploy against it? How do you play against it? Um, so this, so I thought Gene Steeler Court was a really good one to do yeah. because a lot of people have a lot of anxiety about playing Gene Steelers because it's quite hard to understand it. Yeah, I'm getting, getting to understand the annoyances of the actual book itself. It's yeah. uh, it's good to get that. Out of so what what I'm going to do for this one is put like a I wouldn't call it a player guide, but somewhere between a player guide and a crib sheet under underneath the video, just in the comment section, so that people can download it. Let us know what you think if you see it. Um, it's going to be like a living document, so when there gets updates, we can we can update them at the same time. Yeah, and your feedback as well. If you if you have things you find out as well, we can put that into that so it's a, a community project too yeah no, i think i think it'd be really cool um other things are coming up obviously it is very much a chaos week at the moment when we're shooting it with the new um i want to say vigil vigilus but it's not vigilus well it's it's still vigilus is it yes it's vigilus of blaze it's... ah okay anyway that so me and lewis are hopefully at the end of the week we're going to be doing a um, I have to sit and talk about what the crazy combos he's found with um, with Chaos. He's just texting me constantly at the moment. It's like, oh, I found this, I found this. It's just, it's non-stop. Non-stop. Yeah. Cool. yeah, he loves his Chaos. So hopefully we'll have that up over the next couple of weeks as well. Uh, and I'm looking to do some cheat sheets as well for um, to help you guys speed up your stratagems and learning your your, um, your codex, really. So, so look out for that soon and uh, they'll be uploaded onto the Facebook page as well. Yeah, we're going to have a quite a cool one where it's going to be what what sort of seven or eight questions you need to ask your opponent and you don't make a lot of space to write all the answers in. I think I'm going to start playing with that because I think it would be really useful. Yeah. So. That kind of brings us quite nicely on to. Yes. How to get good How to get good quick. Um, so, um, we want your feedback on this. You know, what ways have you found, you know, wait, there's always times in your life when you haven't played as much 40k as you want to. Um, <laughs> or that your wife lets you or whatever, yeah. you know. <laughs> Um, so we've been doing this recently in our practice games is actually critiquing each other I found that's one of the best things so you set up your deployment um, I'm usually playing against Simon at this point and you go okay what would you have done differently if you were if you were me like ra rather than just go he's missed that go, actually you did miss that you should have screened out here or you should have done that or actually you've deployed well within the threat range of my night yeah and I, I think having watched you guys do it the other day it was very good that you would let each other make the mistakes first rather than telling each other what to do yeah and i think you learn so much more by actually making those mistakes but then having that honest feedback for a player that you can trust yeah and um, learn for those yeah I, th I think it's really good and you know if someone makes a massive error and the game's clearly just going to go downhill <laughs> very quickly um 
I think at cer a certain point it's worth just resetting back to the point where they could have done something differently. Um, because there's, there's a lot of points in games where that one key decision pushed it a different way and actually just reset back to that and then try it again to see if you can you can come out a different way. Well, it's maximised your gaming time then, isn't it? You get to see yeah. two different possibilities. That's really cool. Yeah, what sort of thoughts have you had? Uh, for me, I like to um, read where I can as well, so there's various different websites to go to. D6, Match, D6. D6. So D6. He doesn't okay. watch any of my stuff I put out, but oh, every oh. time we play, it's like, you can do what? I made videos. I made our videos on this. No, I don't. Who, who's, whose website do you okay, use? Okay, so I don't necessarily admit to it, but I do, while I'm painting a hobby, listen to the D6 channel and this. It's you, you listen tones. to me. Yeah. I do. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> well, it makes a change from getting text messages from him all the time saying, oh, "I miss you. I love you." Mm -hmm. At least I get to hear his voice at the yeah, same yeah, time. Yeah. So it's <laughs> brilliant. Um, what other things do you do? Uh, I, I find actually making lists up for other armies quite useful as well. So really to try and get into the mindset of what the Gene Stealer cult thing really is. The only way I really find that is by actually doing something practically with it. I can't just digest it by reading it. Yeah, I actually find making these these videos is actually really good. So, like, so to prep for the Gene Stealer cult video, rather than me just sitting there for an entire video and Alex just chatting about it, I said, right, I'm gonna learn Gene Stealers and I'm gonna learn. You know, like you say, you make, a, you make a cheat sheet up for it. That's a really good way, break it down in phases, break down what are their key units and, and just do things that way and go, okay, if I was playing against it, what exactly would I do? Yeah. So that's the key thing I've been doing is actually making those cheat sheets for all, all the different armies and I'm going to share them with you soon as well once uh, once I've finished off how I want them to look. You, you are a perfectionist, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a while, but uh, we'll get the ring. I'll just put anything up, but Wes is just... Uh, yeah. Uh, man of my craft. Yeah. So hopefully hopefully we'll have those cheat sheets done for the, G the Gene Stealer Court soon. Yeah, for sure. Done. Yeah, then next year. I'm just not quite tweaked it enough. Manana, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, talk, talking about other armies, I I did something for the first time. I've always struggled against Unari. Um, as a, you know, a lot of people do. I, I'm okay to admit I struggle against Unari. Um, so I picked up your Unari army, yep. and you know, I thought I'll take it out for a spin. I actually understand it a lot better having played it. I, mean, I didn't play it well because I didn't play one game with it, but. <laughs> Well, that's pretty much how I've ended up with so many armies, is that when I really got frustrated by losing against an army, I'm, like, I'm going to buy that army and I'm going to learn to play that army, and then by learning to play it, I learned to beat it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you only, I know how we, the talk is about, you know, if you've only got a few games you can play, <laughs> play different armies, but there are really just one, one or two ar games with each army, and you really, it doesn't have to be every army, just the ones you struggle with. Um, and if you're home as well, there's no reason why you can't proxy. You should see some corn dogs. Corn dogs yeah. um, are pretty much co proxy for anything in my list. But even on the channels, why are you yeah, go, what was it meant to be? Um, I think it was against Talos's or Grotesques. So they were corn dogs on our um, how to beat fight last auras. And it was you using sisters the other day as death watch. And my, my death watch while I was building the list that was a thing of beauty. <laughs> so I had this, just makes me such a bad competitive gamer, doesn't it? But I had um. Sisters of Battle, Deathwing Terminators, Ravenwing Bikes. That 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 was the acceptable stuff. Yeah, it, it, it was the corn dogs as mortars, which uh... <laughs> <laughs> I think a piece of me died that day. <laughs> um, I, I think there is there is something to be said for just proxying one or two things. Maybe to if, if you if you see a meta list out there for you know, and it's just like okay, for a start, try and get your your friends to bring something different. You know, if they've got the models, so be it. if they need to borrow one or two models or change one or two things, it's probably quite good to do that, rather than just continually playing the same army again and again and again. Yeah, and it's good to play the recent meta army as well, so if you are going to tournament, you yeah. kind of know how to deal with it. Like, um, the, what was it, the Zombie Knights just won Battlefield, which was three knights which just continually got back up with Gilliman and 17 CP, and um, I think it was like some Admech or something. So I asked Simon in our last game, it was like, Buddy, bring it along. You're going to play this list because apparently it does really well. I want to understand it. Um, and I'm going to play Unari Stupidity. I've got two things for one there. Hmm. <laughs> also. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, and I, you know, I've got a lot more understanding of that list. You, you kind of roughly understand how it works, but to play against those things, it's not as scary once you've played them once or twice. Yeah, just seeing what the mechanic does and then you can actually anticipate that as well. That's probably one of the big things with Gene Stealer Cult when I played them the other day. Having played them, 
you lose the fear of uh, what to expect. Yeah. And by watching the video. Yes, watching the video yeah. with or without most of Alex in it, depending on whether <laughs> we'll see what it's happens. a dark green, so it maybe, just maybe, it won't yeah. get deleted. <laughs> So guys, it's just a quick video. There are thoughts on how to get good quickly with uh, playing 40k and uh, let us know if you've got any thoughts about it. Um, yeah, please feel free to comment below and uh, if you've got any bits that you can think you should add. Um, I look forward to the uh, videos coming out soon. Mm. Oh yeah, we forgot to mention, new battle reports will be coming soon as well. Yes, looking forward to those. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to take, a, I'm gonna take a bit of a, a different slant on these guys. Um, instead of just doing normal <coughs> battle reports, it's going to be very much from a tactics base, like what we, what are our plans in the turn, how do we plan to sort of do certain things, I think that's going to be a much more engaging format. It's something I've been struggling with to, to, to fit battle reports in with the identity of the channel, which is basically you know, how to get good at 40k, isn't it? And it's just, I don't think the battle reports so far have really followed, have been on point with that. Yeah, there, there are lots of guys out there who do really entertaining battle reports. And we kind of want to do a blend of the entertaining battle report, but at the same time be on point with what the yeah. channel is. Because so you know, we're just not that player. entertaining, so we've got to have something else. <laughs> we've got to have something else. <laughs> <on that. laughs> Can't rely on our stunning personalities. Oh, all looks. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Um, right, guys, that's it. So um, we'll see you very shortly with uh, a lot more content because we're back doing 40k now. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you again. Bye.